at 601 Capital Mall, uh, which is right in between Capital Mall and Golden One Arena. Uh, so this is a building that is in construction now. Uh, it is a residential building, we are mixed use. So there's going to be about 162 condos, and there's also about 8,000 square feet of residential or of, uh, of mixed use of commercial. So restaurants, and shops, things like that. So it's three stories of concrete and then five stories of wood. Uh, so what you can see here is two stories of concrete that are built and then one story of concrete that is formed up right now but not yet poured. So they're actually planning to pour that uh, tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. So I don't know if you guys know this about construction, but if you're thinking about it, I hope you're an early bird because most of the concrete pours and stuff like that happen at 3 a.m. while everyone's sleeping. Um, they do that because you know there's no traffic getting in, they can get their uh, concrete mixers in easier and uh, it takes a while to do it and so if they start that early then they can actually finish with the legs. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here there's a double height story at this front. Um, so this is like prime real estate right across from the street from Golden Lawn. Um, so they wanted this to be nice and spacious for whoever's going to be in here, whether it's a nice restaurant or uh, you know, a shop or something like that. They want it to be uh, nice and, and lofty. So that's what you see there. Um, all these metal uh, things are called formwork, and it's really just holding up the concrete until it's all cured, until it's all hardened. Um, and so all that will come away, and you'll have those nice concrete columns and concrete slabs. Um, and then, yeah, wood, five stories of wood are going above that. So we'll take you up top and talk a little bit about the concrete construction up there and how the wood interacts over there. And then, uh, we expect to see all that happen. So we're 601 Capital Mall, so the state building is over there. So we have the Golden One Center right in front of us. The Marshall Hotel is the other job that we're working on. It's a fantastic location. All right, so we're on top of the floor that they're about to pour tomorrow. Uh, it's concrete, it's about 13 inches thick of concrete slab going across this whole area. And what you see is the rebar that's keeping the concrete from cracking. But there's also there's these uh, orange uh, tubes, for lack of better words, that will also help the concrete from cracking by compressing it uh, really hard. All right, so as Nick was saying, this is the concrete level. So this is the third of three concrete levels, this is the very top. And above this is five stories of wood framing. So you've got to think about the interaction of how all of that wood is going to be supported by the concrete that we're pouring now. And so, as Nick was saying, so you see these you know, the bars running horizontally, these are all for the concrete. All the bars that are sticking up vertically, so they have these little caps on them so people don't fall and nail themselves, but all these bars sticking up vertically are the wood above. And so anywhere you see bars, there's essentially a wood wall that needs to stay in place. And so that's what those are for. So they'll come, they'll pour the concrete, and then they'll come back and they'll have about this much bar sticking up above the concrete. And that's where the wood wall goes. So they drill a hole in the bottom of the wood wall, sit those down. Those are called sill plates. They'll sit the sill plates down on the anchors, and then they'll build the walls up from there. Or more likely, they'll just build the wall and lean it up onto those anchors. But, so this will all be wood on top of this. So we're coming out now to look at the concrete to make sure everything's good for the concrete, but also the bars for wood make sure that where we expect to see walls, they've got, you know, anchor bolts and things like that.